Hey guys, welcome back to Jibber Jab Reviews and another update on the upcoming launch of Samsung's new smartwatch. Now more details have just been released about the device that give us a better idea of what we could expect in terms of specs. The name of the device also seems to now point towards the Galaxy Watch Active rather than the Galaxy Sport. Whichever name it is though, the recently leaked firmware files show detailed specs and they seem rather lackluster and in some areas I would even say disappointing as well. But remember that these could still change by the official launch date which is expected to be on February the 20th. But I'm still going to go through some of the specs with you just so you're aware how this may stack up to its predecessor, the Gear Sport Watch. And I'm also interested in hearing your thoughts on this new information. Okay, so I'm going to go over some of the pros and cons of the new device, which again are based just on these leaked specs. So the good thing is that according to this, it will be running the newest version of the Tizen operating system. There was some speculation about this watch possibly running Google's Wear OS, but it appears Samsung is going to stick with the tried and true Tizen platform, which actually is not a bad thing at all, by the way. Although I know there have been some hiccups in terms of Tizen updates for the Gear S3, but hopefully the Galaxy Active will launch with limited issues here as it's most likely already been developed on the newest Tizen operating system. Now one interesting spec here is that we can expect to see a slightly smaller screen size on this new model. And this is actually a bit of a surprise to me because not only are we going to have less space for display features and activity information, but the lack of a rotating bezel means you're going to have to navigate through those screens and those apps using only the smaller screen display as well as those two side buttons. And I think this is probably going to turn off a lot of potential customers particularly those that already have one of the smartwatches that have a bezel, such as owners of the Gear S3, the Galaxy Watch, or even the Gear Sport. However, I am very interested to see how Samsung is going to compensate for that lack of a bezel. Could there be additional functionality in the round buttons at the side? Could the display have a virtual bezel built into the screen to mimic the same functionality as a mechanical bezel? The navigation aspect is still very much up in the air and it's one area that I think everyone is going to be watching very closely because I think it's also a very bold move by Samsung to remove this feature, although it's not completely surprising because if they want to compete with other sport watches such as their biggest competitor being Apple, then it needed to find a way to offer a lighter and slimmer version for fitness enthusiasts and dropping the rotating bezel is an easy way to accomplish it. Now on the plus side, this new watch will come equipped with a speaker and a microphone, which means you can use this to make phone calls and it appears it will even come with LTE functionality, which means you can enjoy all those features without having to actually be linked to your phone. So in this regard, it is a step up over the Gear Sport model. However, one spec that was reported and I did not like seeing was regarding the battery. One of the biggest issues customers have been either complaining about or have requested Samsung to provide them with is a bigger battery or a better performance battery. And this new Galaxy Active Watch looks like it's going to have an even smaller battery than what the Gear Sport came with or any other smartwatch that Samsung's actually launched for that matter. Now, I don't know if this is going to translate directly into shorter battery life as some efficiencies can be accomplished through software updates, but just looking at the hardware component alone, I think having a smaller battery may hurt sales, particularly if it does require users to charge more often. To add to the confusion, you'd think a small battery size may result in a reduction in the size of the case, but according to the newest reports, the Galaxy Active will be 13 millimeters thick, which is almost two millimeters thicker than the Gear Sport. And from the rendered photos that we've seen, the case actually appears sleeker than the Gear Sport. So it's gonna be interesting to see how this stacks up in a side-to-side -side comparison with the Sport. And one final note related to batteries, reports say that the Galaxy Watch Active will come with a redesigned charger whereby the watch will sit on the charging pad horizontally instead of at a 90 degree angle. This at least isn't a bad thing as this method of charging is consistent with other devices. However, whether or not it will still work with existing charging cradles such as for the Gear S3 or the Galaxy Watch remains to be seen. So what do you guys think of these new leaked specs? Is there anything that stands out for you, whether it's good or bad? And what do you think about it not having a mechanical bezel or the fact it comes now with a smaller battery? 
Are those two factors a deal breaker for you? Let me know in the comments below. We're now less than 10 days away from the official launch and as you can see things are really starting to heat up now so I'll keep you guys posted on further updates as we get closer to the unpacked event in San Francisco. Thanks for watching today's show and I'll catch you in the next episode. Until then, take care. Thanks again for watching our review and if you liked it then show us some love with a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and share the video with your friends because with your support it really helps me keep the channel going so I can continue to offer you guys discounts, giveaways and of course fresh content. I'll see you in the next episode. Until then, take care.